Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of uh, the, the Inverted Spire Nightfall, which this is a 100k run. I'm doing it on Night Stalker, so top tree of the subclass. I'm using Perfect Paradox, Subtle Calamity, and Thunderlord. Orpheus Rigs obviously is my exotic boots because they help you get your, your tether back. My helmet has machine gun reserves on it, and my gauntlets have machine gun scavenger. We're running with a 110 power handicap, which gives us 5.85 score multiplier, which is achieved by putting on Oxinge, Heavyweight, Extinguish, and Match Game. You can change Extinguish for Momentum if, if that's what you're more comfortable with. Uh, i done it because it gave me a 0.15 more score multiplier. And the Inverted Spire, because of its RNG nature, is quite difficult to get big, big scores on. In fact, I think this is the highest solo score I've ever had. And I still, there's still another 20, 30,000 in this strike if I got the right, the right roll, the right, the right uh, ads at the right time. And I think also if, if, you know, sometimes you can spawn at this area. I, I'm not going to talk about any strategies just yet because we're not in the nightfall. Nightfall doesn't start until you, you, you hit the first wave of ads after the big teleporter. So if you don't have to do this area, if you spawn in, which has happened to me countless times, you spawn in, you're right behind another team and they've already cleared this area. Uh, it, it, it cuts off, you know, nearly two minutes. A minute and a half at least. And because we 15 and a half minutes, we started to lose points. So it, it's possible I, I could have could have finished this with 175, close to 180. I don't know. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but... I think I think I think it took me. I was about two minutes in when I started doing the ads, so I I probably burnt. I I beat the ads by now. And I always take that uh, gladiator out. I always take him out because back it, it stems from the prestige nightfall days. He would just focus fire you as soon as you got near him, and even with momentum on, he can he can cause you a bit of hassle. Although stupidly. I could have just went invisible. <laughs> I could have just dodged, reloaded, which would have made me invisible and ran right past them. I just don't like taking the chance. You need a you need a fast summon spiral to do that, what I've just done there. And what you do is you jump in the portal and as soon as you start flying, bring your menu and call your call your spiral and just don't touch any of your joysticks. And you'll fly straight across and be able to land it as soon as you come down to land boost. You can start using your afterburner. So I'm going to I'm going to clear most of the ads from up here not be, for any other reason than one sometimes I just like the the practice shooting practice from range with the bow and, and two I normally would push down behind that rock if I was if I was doing my own thing and not making a guide but this is about trying to help people get through this that possibly wouldn't wouldn't attempt it or don't think they can manage it this is about trying to find the safest way to do things. So, but I am going to ask you guys a question while I'm clearing these ads. I'm kind of, I must admit, I am getting a little bit bored of using the Thunderlord. So, I asked a, I asked in my, one of my last videos if you guys wanted to see different stuff. And I got some good suggestions of doing weapons that maybe aren't so great and seeing how good they are. I, every run I've seen so far has either been uh, a heavy machine gun or the Acreus. Now, I did do a run earlier using uh, a different linear linear fusion rifle. And I'm just wondering, if you guys, are you guys comfortable with it always being Thunderlord for the main Nightfalls? Or would you like to see different heavies being used? Would you like to see some variation? And the reason I'm saying that is not because I'm against variation or I need your guys' permission, but I don't want to start bringing out content of, you know, using all these different types of weapons and you guys being like, yep, I can't do that. Not with that weapon. So I'm not wanting to go too extravagant. I've tried to never put weapons in my videos that I don't think the majority of people have got. So I have got another run planned not for the inverted spire but for the warden or nothing which I, I i 
I really am going to try to not use a heavy machine gun. So we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. But uh, let me know in the comment section, are you guys happy to see, you know, are you happy for me to use weapons for the main run that you guys would use yourself? Or would you like to see a variation? Would you like to see different weapons being used? Let me know. Uh, and another thing that's interested me, I'm just clearing up these ads, as you can see, and as everybody knows that's watching the videos, which kind of ties in with what I was going to say, uh, you know, the people that watch the videos regular. I always try and switch up. You can just go through this and just wipe everything with heavy and, and then hope you get heavy later on. I'm trying to show you guys that it's... I've got heavy ammo finder on my on my cloak. I'm just trying to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm all good so that when it comes to it, if I do need to burn heavy, I'm cool because I've got two 6.5 rounds. I can burn some. Now, although I've I've only used a clip, basically, I can, I want that clip back. So, so the other thing I was thinking is, as I was saying, you guys that watch the videos, it's something that interests me. Do you guys watch all the runs? And it, if you do, which one of you do? Who 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 comes to the channel to you know to see what what's going on on the channel? Let me know. In a, it'd be nice. It would be nice. It's not. It's you know I'm not going to be one of these YouTubers. Let me know with the comments and like the comment, share, and it's just something that interests me. You know, are there people that actually come to this channel to? You know, I wonder what Live Mondo's done. I wonder if he's got a Nightfall run up. I wonder if he's Ascendant Challenge, blah, blah, blah. And if you do, just uh, leave a comment if you want. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> leave a comment. Come on, speak to me, guys. Anyway, so at the moment, as you can see, I'm just kind of clearing ads. I'm just working my way up. I always go right. Right seems a, bit, a good position for me. I always go right. Take the two elite snipers out, and then you'll get uh, arc shielded gladiator. Take him out. Take out the two cabal bosses in the room, and then I'm gonna tether some ads. So don't use your tether on these these guys. This is what the Thunderlord's for. Thunderlord is always for the big shielded guys. If if they've got a different element on, make sure you take down their element. There are ways. To take down elements, even if you don't have that element. So you'll see there's a solar guy. Uh, at the start, uh, uh, j j just for example, in the very first room that you sc start scoring points. If you get, at the start, the cabal, the solar shielded cabal. Don't kill the snipers. Because the snipers do solar and they'll take his shield down. And then you can just pick them off with heavy. That's what I always do. I always back away, take out all the ads that I can around, but I leave the snipers to keep sniping the the cabal. And they'll actually take his shield down for me. So I burnt a little bit heavy there because I could see heavy on the floor. Now this time, and you'll tell you'll be able to tell from there if there's no cabal, if there's no, no phalanx in the front door of that other room, he's down he's down on the plates. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take take his little minions down. I am going to burn a little bit heavy because I know I've got a brick behind me. So, get a bit more points there. It's nearly 2,000 points for one of those guys. So, I, But I knew I had heavy. I spotted it out of the corner of my eye when I was running. So, what we're going to do is, this guy's kind of... He's kind of pinned himself in here. So, we're going to throw down a smoke grenade, which stuns him, and then melt him. I tried a run... I didn't try it, I completed a run using the Tarantella. But uh, the Tarantula, Tarantella, it's not Tarantella, it's Tarantula. Yes, I did jump into that transporter without turning it on. Even, you know, not perfect. <laughs> you guys already know that. Uh, the Tarantula, I tried to run with the Tarantula, but I'll tell you. And this is, this is... Uh, some people get this analogy. Some people understand what I'm saying. Fighting, fighting bosses with any of the linear fusion rifles apart from, apart from 
uh, Queensbreaker, may, not not Queensbreaker, apart from Sleeper, maybe if it's solar, is like taking out someone taking out their false teeth, uh, and trying to eat a steak. It's kind of what it's like. So, I am going to start, as I said earlier, I'm going to start trying to look for other weapons, variations for different strikes, because I'm kind of I'm getting a little bit sick of every run you see. Including my own. I mean, I'm not poking anyone else. I'm, my runs are the same. It's Thunderlord or Acrius. It's just becoming a bit monotonous. So, as you can see, Tether. Yeah. And we don't have momentum. So, the minute you see the big guys coming. Now, I think I do get hit here. But the dodge reload putting me invisible means I can just do a little bit of meltage. Now we, there is a big, there is a, there is a big, uh, a big captain, a big, not captain, a big cabal guy. We'll melt him, and then I got a bit of a dodge, and I think it was a couple of dogs. So I just went over and shotgunned them. Never got any heavy, but we're at one hundred and thirty-two thousand, which which is good for here. It is a good score for here. I thought that was heavy. It wasn't. It was an an engram. Go figure. <laughs> so, right, so we've got Void Shields here, we're just going to mop them up. I'm also going to take the Snipers over on the other side, and then, uh, it's going to sound stupid, but then we're on to, for me, just from the way it felt, it was the most time-consuming part. Everything else, all the other parts, they, they, they feel kind of fluid. You're working your way through the ads, and right, okay, they're down, right, this one's down, that one's down. We got a bit heavy, which is good. This, these guys and the Minotaurs are why I've got a Void Boam. But this next part just feels pretty time-consuming, actually, for what it is. There's like eight ads, but it took me like two minutes to clear it because there's a solar-shielded guy. What you need to do... Is take out the first ads. If you if you are going to do what I've done, if you want these ads, you want the points, and you've got match game on. You want the big boy. You want him to go. You want the wanted to move away, because you want to e exploit the fact that the void shielded uh, incendors incendiors. If you take their shield down, you'll see here. I get the crit. Blows up, takes his shield because it's solar. Then I put my tether down and just start sharing the damage. As you can see, the damage I was doing on the wanted took the other guy's shield down. So I don't really want to use any heavy on him. I'm not flush with heavy. So I just ran up to him. His shield was gone, so I shotgunned him. So still doing okay. 152,000 without breaking sweat, really. So we're going to take these guys here, so what I suggest is take these guys in front of you and then there's three three yellow bar snipers, there's three elite snipers. My suggestion is, as you can see, I'm getting hit and you can see I'm just down to the left there. My suggestion is put something on them to stun them. Well, and do this for all the snipers, right? You don't have to. I think I don't do it for the last one. But you can put something on the sniper just to stun them. And that allows you to move forward with your Thunderlord and get the melt on. Now, there's another one up high, and then there's, there's, one, up, there's one down low. So there's the one that's down low. So we've done the same thing. And that's him gone. Then there's one up high. So I think I just me tried to melt him. And was lucky. But I would suggest, you know, on retrospect, it might be an idea to... It might be an idea to stun him. And then... He, it's not about... It's not about doing damage. He'll get, he'll get his health back. It's just about... Taking his focus off you so that you can get a focus on him. Worked for the first two, 
Minotaurs are just got a bit sloppy with the last one. Maybe not sloppy, impatient. So here we are at the boss. Now, we're not going to melt the boss. Quite simply because, uh, for whatever reason, I it just ne I didn't seem to do as much damage as I normally do on the boss. I have one phased him on the hunter. It's it can be done, but uh, I think to one phase him, I p it's kind of six and a half a dozen. Taylor's really good for all the way through the strike. It's not so good for him. You know, so as you can see, we're getting it on him, doing decent damage. And for whatever reason, and now watching it back, it escapes me why. Why didn't I dodge reload? Dodge reload there, for real. Dodge reload there. So, when you get down here, depending on how much you don't want to go on this, you want to go on the small platform, that one over there. And, and what you can do is you can crouch, you can back away to the back of the plate, and you can hit him when he can't hit you so just about there so he'll go he'll go immune and he's hit as soon as you get down to the bottom you're going to want to do big damage to him uh i was really really kind of low like none had no heavy but as you can see I've now got 176, and and that basically comes from heavy ammo finder and machine gun scavenger. And there you go, 174,213. You're not going to do much better than that. Well, you might, but that's a pretty good score. As I say, I'll try and get that other run up. I won't try. I will get the other run up uh, using different weapons. But let me know what you think about the weapon situation. Are you happy just seeing runs with weapons that you feel you guys are going to use? Or would you like to see me do runs? I've asked before, but it's more, more the heavy. So let me know what you think, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video.